Broadcasting live in high definition, this is Eyewitness News at 10 on KVFX Fox 58. A Kern County firefighter has been pushing for a dream to compete in the 2012 Olympic Games in London. But those dreams may have been dashed after he was the target of thieves. Our reporter Vanessa Herrera joins us now with more on what happened. Vanessa. Jimmy Watkins has been an athlete since he was a kid, and in recent years he found a new talent and he hopes to compete against the world. Firefighters need to be fit when they go out to fight fires. 29-year-old Jimmy Watkins has been a firefighter for seven years and recently discovered a new passion. I cycled a little bit uh, just to kind of stay in shape. He now competes nationally in track cycling. It's a 250-meter indoor wood track, and it's banked about like 46 degrees in the corner, so it's really steep. In fact, he holds two U.S. national records, but his hopes for another were put on hold on September 20th. Oh, man, I was uh, getting up to come to work. I walk out in the garage and, you know, all three of my bikes are gone. The very bikes that Watkins uses to train and compete. I have national championships in one week from today. And he has another big competition in October at the Pan Am Games. But there's more you should know. Just the opportunity to go to the Olympic Games, I think, would be, it would be incredible, you know, it would be a dream come true. That's right. He only has six races to go to qualify for the 2012 Olympic Games and represent the U.S. Jimmy is a great guy. He's a great firefighter, first of all, a great dad, husband, and a very passionate guy. And now, Watkins has a message for the thieves. Man, I just, I'd see my bikes back, you know. Just uh, find some way to give them to the authorities or, you know, however you can do it. I don't care. So he's not robbed of his Olympic dream. Watkins estimated the value of his bikes at about $15,000. He says getting new bikes will slow down his Olympic dreams because one of the bikes that were stolen was custom made just for him. For Eyewitness News, I'm Vanessa Herrera. Kurt and Lisa, back to you. Vanessa, thanks so much.